Batteran. Journey updated. No journey available. <laughs> uh, let's see. It doesn't look like we have anything else. So, Bronze Mire. Okay. I'm... It honestly looks like this is a dead end. No, 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 no. There's a road over there that might go into a new zone. Yeah. Can I zoom out? So do we only have one area after this? Yeah, actually. There's one more. Huh. There might be something in that corner. May maybe? Like, it feels like that darkened spot there probably fills out or something. I love how the quest system works in this game. Yeah, I mean, it's effectively just go here, kill X quests. But it, I feel much more like... Much more into these side quests than I do with like 90% of uh, of like side content in games. This is actually feels like, yeah, you actually have kind of a reason to do all this. Okay, so I'm a bit shy of picking this up. I could upgrade Ramolier. Well, I ever play Super Smash Brothers again? I don't know. Maybe? The problem is Super Smash Brothers is incredibly hard on my hands. And I have real crap hands. So, it's really tough for me to give a proper answer on that one. Because I like the game. It's rather fun. But it's also, like, just a bit brutal on, like, but button spammy and reflexes and stuff, so it made my wrist ache for ages. And combo that with, uh, Hades, and it's just, like, it's... It's tough to say yes to doing, uh, doing more of that. We upgrade Ramolier again. Dog next door is not happy. Let's probably not upgrade Ramolier. What else could I even spend money on? Probably not. Like, I'd like to. I like Smash Bros. a lot. It's just the physical pain that I feel after the fact is tough. This game is much more chill. You know, I have to I have to have some amount of reflexes, but for the most part, it's just pretty slow and methodical. You know, at best, I have to mash the dodge button a couple of times. That's it. Or, you know, R1 spam a little bit here and there, but it's nowhere close to, like, half the stuff you have to do for Smash Bros., So that's always going to be like, I, I don't know. Ooh, the music changed. Oh, this is going to be fun to listen to. Oh, probably shouldn't dive down here. an item in this corner. I'm not sure how to get it otherwise. Yeah, I mean, it's not that big of a deal. It's just, Shell and I both had kind of had this conversation after the fact of, like, we just can't do that again, necessarily. Oh, it's another one of these, like, weird pseudo-pothead dudes. Is that another one? Oh. Oh, no, that's her. Never mind. But we're good. There's something along this. No. Okay, don't block my way. We're good. What the... Doosel? The heck are you? Big and almost entirely uncaring. I almost feel bad for fighting this thing. But I want to kill it at least once. Oh, we needed that. That's the Romar horn. Alright, well that was quick. Well, I think I'm just going to kind of leave them alone. 
I wonder if that thing was supposed to be... more threatening, and I just kind of cheesed it. I don't know. Are, are you coming? Silleran, watch this. <laughs> Rocket science. Uh, you should try the children assist in a difficulty later. I might. I I don't know if I will. Man, she would. She doesn't even need the assisted climb. She just could climb that. It'd actually be great if you could actually uh, uh, do kind of a solo mode in this, where you play as one of the listeners instead. You don't get an AI companion, but you're bigger and hit harder and stuff. I might give that a go. Actually, that'd be kind of cool. I'm sure that would break a lot of the platforming. Uh oh. Gotta worry about them a little bit. Especially because the character doesn't step up, unfortunately. Like, I've noticed that with the pathfinding in general, is that sometimes the characters just straight up will not step over. Very small, like gaps and whatnot. And it's like, uh, what are you, what are you doing here? Oh shit! It's actually violent. Well, this works. Oh. It will attack backwards. It is aggressive. Therefore, it deserves death. Hey, thank you, Fate Weaver, for the sub. And welcome. Have some bell sprouts. They're good for you, I think. And if they're not good for you, uh... Eh. Eh. Your parents are going to tell you they're good for you anyway. Just like lima beans. Freaking lima beans. I, I'm pretty fine with all vegetables. Even the ones that I don't like. Like, I'm not a big fan of bok choy. But I'll eat it anyway. Lima beans? Actually, no. I've, I've, I've definitely, like, been much more okay with lima beans lately. But I know as a kid... Lima beans were like the absolute thing I couldn't stand. Spinach, actually. Right up there. I do not like spinach that much. I don't mind spinach in a smoothie. Like, if you make a, a, a berry smoothie. We got ambushed. Okay, let's just kind of avoid. But hurt. Handle every. Whoa! That was a rag doll. And a half. Where are you going, good sir? I think he wanted to escape back to where he spawned from, but he kind of spawned from wherever. Okay, I actually want to take a look at some of these things. We got a bunch of artifacts. I've never read what they do. So, Bataran's hammer, an Ashsmith's hammer, forged. When the listeners held the world in the palms of their great hands, Bataran may well be the last member of Ashsmith's in existence, Amara. Ornate steel fire starters made in the ancient listener style. The etched runes tell of the Ashen's fall to the darkened plains. So much of what we know, knew, is now buried in the ash. Aho? Ahu. 
Ahu's lockbox, a small sturdy chest, has been in Jokul's family for generations and has held many a carefully secured secret in that time. As a child, you'd think you'd know your family. As an adult, you realize just how wrong you were. Pot of glue. Despite the smell, glue made from fish is a valuable resource. Vagrants have long been able to render glue from the skin and bones of their catches. In my youth, I once stuck dried deer dung to a sleeping Einar, using a big dab of raffet glue. You should have seen it run when its packmates caught the scent. Okay, so I did read that one. Frodo's faceplate. Wreathed in dark an aura of darkness, this mask feeds upon the ashen's light. Yet remains as cold as the deepest of caverns. Your own true face is that which you see in the darkness. Okay, Einar head. Einar relied on the sense of smell and keen ears to hunt in the darkened plains. Now that the light has given them sight, they're even more dangerous than before. I feel for the these noble beasts. They hunt to survive just as we do. Vaughn's notebook. Written in High Lathrian, Vaughn's writings are decipherable by very few in this beshadowed age of ignorance. My family treasured the arts of read and write. You'd be surprised what you can learn from the pages of another's life. Seeing Stone. Lathrian mystics prize these stones as tools for piercing illusions, curing diseases of the eye, and even preventing nightmares. Granny Nella always said we should try to get one of these seeing stones for the tribe, in case the matriarchs enter people out to play tricks on us. Or bile. Grissom Corb spews bile over its fallen victim, as a way to soften the flesh and bone for easy digestion. Orbs may look like walking mountains, but they've got their tender bits. Like the rest of us. Vorsa. Heartbone Rod. Forge these rods and place them in their town squares as wards of truth and protection. The Granny Nella taught me how to tell what's real and what's made up guff. Ayla. Okay, I just really want to look at this one. Uh, this one in the notes. So a human leg bone, partially overtaken by orgone fungus. Forgone fungus. There's something unsettling, insidious, about how alive it feels to the touch. You can't truly appreciate your legs until they're gone. Oh, Flokir's leg bone. The art of writing is rare among the survivors of old Lathyrus. Parchment can still be made from animal hide. My few are still taught the delicate symbols of High Lathrian. It saddens me that few have maintained the arts of writing. Oh, because we don't actually see the content of it. Ah, oh, that's unfortunate. But yeah, straight up the sister left the dude's leg bone here as a trap. That's mucked up. The question of Pokemon delicacies is probably one that should not be considered. On the other hand, though, how does Psyduck taste? Probably just kind of gummy. Like, not bad, but just, like, maybe a little over-chewy. Farfetch'd, on the other hand, is probably real good. Oh, I got hit by the acid. Ashen-fused rambling club. But yeah, my assumption is far-fetched is the real tasty one. Now this is another one of the big guys. You, on the other hand. I think I need a little bit of reach here. Probably need a little bit more or less. I don't know. We got a lot of these dudes around here. Alright. Let me get my stamina back. Sometimes I wonder if I should actually just wear lighter armor and just go full R1 spam build and just hope I don't get hit much. Probably worth it to some degree. Stay away from that. A lot of danger around here. Not too bad on the damage, but there's a lot of critters. I want to bite my ankles. Oh yeah, this is the bronze mire, of course. You didn't really, I didn't really see the, the mire aspect of this until we actually got into it, and then it's like, oh yeah. This is kind of Meyer-ish. Oh! Where'd you even come from? Owie. 
How dare you make me bleed my own face blood? Don't hit me in the face. Wow. Does that get worth a lot, or do I just have a lot saved up? I. Oh no, I did have 10,000. Okay, so I want to stay away from the big rock beasts. They're not really worth bothering with anyway. Unless they start charging me or something. Hello, Mansfield, Mansfield Vaughn. Weird beast gank. There we go. I pissed it off. I mean, we might be okay, but my AI might, companion might also just, just go bananas on it again. God, I love the textures in this game. They're real good. Well, she's dead. Not the most dynamic of creatures, are they? Alright, let's finish this off if I can. See, Wander, you are a goal for me to get to your level of indie gaming. Mark my words. First saw you playing Crosscode earlier this week. Finishing Crosscode? I don't know, that's that's an achievement for me. I, I try very hard to finish the games that I start, and so finally being able to finish Crosscode was lovely. Yeah, get your level of indie gaming. That's that's a tough one. There's so many indie games out there. I try, though. I try really hard. I like the really indie games. Not the, like, ridiculously, like, indie to the point where nobody's ever heard of it before. But I try and, like, saturate with as many as I can. Yeah, I might have to upgrade this hammer a little bit. He's pretty good. Oh, it got speared. That's hilarious. That dude chucking spears at me is actually helping out. Ow. I think I got speared. Whatever, we're gonna go back to town anyway. We've got several quests done in the immediate area, and I figured it's probably a good time. Just wanted to see if there's anything else in the immediate mire? There are. Oh. Hi. Bye. You can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man, dude. I think I've finished, like, three of the numerous long-ass RPGs I've started. Uh, let's see, which ones have I finished? Xenoblade Chronicles X, Xenoblade Chronicles 2, Persona 5, uh, Kingdoms of Amalur Awakening, Crosscode. Um, it's more than that. Disgaea 5. But I have started a goofy amount that I need to go back and finish. I really want to work on, um... I want to, I want to go back and finish Dragon Quest XI. I've heard great things about where this story was going. I just... Time commitments? Time, time is, time is, I hate time. That's a fine piece of Romar you have there. And look, not a single speck of light blight. If hounds in Romar can grow resistant to the light, perhaps we can too. You are as kind as you are strong, my friend. I'll take the horn to Silurin. But first, there's something I must tell you. Something that troubles me. Silurin has doubts about there being a cure for Bataran. She thinks our work could help others, but Bataran has been sick for too long. Why would his own sister give up hope like that? No, I won't accept it. I've spoken with Amara about it, and she told me of the Mother Scale. Geffen once gave one of her scales to her dying lover, a listener man. It restored him. Amara has traced the scale to a ruin in the Bronzed Mire. Please, we have to find it. When did you do Kingdoms of Amalur? Did I do the DLC? It was actually one of the first series I ever did. Uh, we, Kingdoms of Amalur, I think, might have been even the first series I ever finished. It was like 103 episodes long, 104. It was a lot. 
Ah, well. Lyra is clearly sticking to the shadows. She must know we're on to her. Now, there's a curious thing. Is that a leg bone you have there? May I see it? Well, I'll be a tinker's cuss. That's my leg bone. And look, that's some foregone fungus growing on it. My sister's been tinkering with me. Oh, dear. I just had a rather nasty thought. Lyra might be making a foregone flock here. Foregone feed on bits of soul left in bones, and it learns as it eats. The situation gets even nastier when you learn that I once made war machines for Army Wren. And uh, foregone with my tinkering now would soon learn to make contraptions of woe. Lyra has my milk teeth collected as keepsakes. There's talent aplenty in those little bones. We have to find her. She'll be in the Featherland still, somewhere deep and dark. So his sister is literally trying to make a, a shadow horror using his bones. Wow, that's horrifying. I think all three of the Spider-Man DLCs are out. Well, guess I know what I'm up to tonight. Might as well get them uh, get them done. I did say I needed to do some new things, and Spider-Man wouldn't be a bad choice. Uh, let's see, have we done everything? Cool. Let's uh, let's switch around. I really like Vorse's design, by the way. Like she looks rad. I I never really paid attention to her design before, but she's straight up wearing like like you know kind of the classic lion mane and stuff. Oh right, we can get a better lantern. Yes. I want to get that from him. A strong foregone culture sucks up every bit of skill and ability ingrained in the remains. That's why most foregone warriors still know how to swing an axe. Oh, right. His bench is down here. Pricey, but worthwhile. Uh, wrong one. Okay, speaking of, I can probably just drop this. So what is... We also have this. Oh, this is the thing What's-Her-Face Silera was using, I think. Looks like a fun one. Can only swing it twice, though. A lot of that probably has to do with the armor involved. Look at my hammer. Unfortunately, the heavier the armor I get, the more expensive everything gets, too. Okay. Oops. I should really start using some of these mushrooms. And other stuff. I should probably get rid of some of this crap. Okay, let's, let's get rid of some of the garbage shields and whatnot that we're not going to be using. I mean, honestly, I'm probably just going to get rid of an amount of this equipment. And thank you, BLK Jock 3. Uh, oh, I see. Black joke. Uh, thank you for the sub. And yeah, have fun with, uh, I don't know, this? Everything. I want to go back to Dragon Quest. Dragon Quest is good. I... There's too many JRPGs and they take too long for me to finish, which has always been like a huge issue for me. Uh, I want to finish all of them. I want to go back to finish some of them too. Uh, let's see. So what do we what do we do next? We got the mother scale. Uh, let's check this. Are there different builds for this game? Yes and no. Mainly, it's kind of there's slight differences between every. Uh, major light weapon and heavy weapon, and there's also, uh, what is it? There's also, obviously, light weapons, heavy weapons, and there's some ranged weapons, but compared to Dark Souls, no, there's, it's a lot more homogenous. I'm not terribly bothered by it, but I know some people might be. Okay, so, your next weapon strike deals bonus stun. Your dodge costs less stamina. 
when you're in good health. These are interesting. Unfortunately, I just don't have a whole lot of use for them. Okay. Well, the other thing to check in here is this. Okay. So we got a whole bunch of these that I haven't even so much as peeked at. Extra swoo. Extra swigs is pretty good. Extra crafting material from defeated enemies. Extra stun when you're... Oh. Okay, some of these are actually pretty good. So, let's get rid of Last Stand. I like the idea of it, but I don't dare stay that low that often. I'm going to keep Second Wind, though, and I like Respite, if only because Stamina Regen is handy. Uh, double Swig is pretty good. Bonus Material is kind of eh. I'm going to try going for Seer. 2 HP every second is handy. And let's get the stamina penalties reduced. Okay, so that's good. There's something real special going on here. People building together instead of dreaming alone. How can I In shop a long for time. Okay, so what does she sell? Speckled mushrooms, scoria stashes, bean grubs. Straight up just sells sapient root and sapient moss. Expensive, but it's an option. Uh, let's let's go upgrade my hammer. I think because I've I've got a whole bunch of money. Let's let's clear out some of my materials for a little while. Upgrade what I can do. I really wish I could actually sell some of these things or just store them better. Because yeah, I don't see any means of increasing my storage. But then again, I most of those aren't even that handy. Or more specifically, I'm not going to use them. Okay. So, wait. Oh, I forgot my twin root. I thought I grabbed it. I guess I'm wrong. Okay, there it is. Oh, I must have pressed A or something instead of Y. All right. So let's let's upgrade the shovel. Let's upgrade the hammer. I'm not actually sure if I really should be committing as many resources as I am, but whatever. Yeah, you can still upgrade it. Wow. Okay. So that leaves me at 8,000. I could pop both of these, but it wouldn't be enough. Man, you really are hamstrung on on uh, Scoria costs. Well, justified. Okay. So is there anything else I want to dump from my inventory? No, but we should probably start just shoving mushrooms into my face instead of healing-ish. 